this is an extra video for the macOS team. I forgot to mention some things in the video tutorial, so that's why I'm making this extra video. First of all, here is the UCCW app itself. So that will appear after you uh, install UCCW from the store. It's right here. Now, in this app itself, there are also some important important things like in settings here you can choose the location which is very important because the app uh, needs to know where you are so it can provide the right uh, weather for you you can also choose the weather provider uh, you can choose the update interval you can choose uh, if it's displayed in celsius or in uh, Fahrenheit so if you disable it it will be shown in Fahrenheit and some other settings so these are pretty important now another thing is hotspots mode this mode needs to be on because when it's on the widgets are basically active so when I press on my widgets I'm taken into the apps so that's what you want as well but the problem is uh, hotspots mode is by default turned off so people that are not going to read um, the text in the store are probably gonna end up wondering why they are not taken into the app so I'm just gonna take my uh, Galaxy S2 turn on the brightness So you can see something. Anyway, um, I'm showing you uh, on my Galaxy S2 because I have the team actually installed on this phone. On my S3 I actually made it so there are some differences. Anyway, let's turn it off. So people are basically going to do this and see this screen and wonder why they are not taken into the calendar app. The reason for this is that hotspots mode is turned off by default. But hotspots mode off is not necessarily a bad thing because when it's off you can edit all the widgets. So like I showed you when I press on it you will see this screen. This is basically a very easy uh, customization menu. Here you have hotspot 1, there is only one hotspot and here if you press on it you can choose all um, any of your installed apps so you can choose another calendar app if you don't use the stock Android uh, calendar you can just use any app you want so that's up to you you can choose a shortcut as well so these are basically uh, these things you can directly go to a contact or just the basic shortcuts you also see in uh, other Android apps or you can choose a UCCW action which also includes launching the alarm and uh, going to the dialer so that's uh, pretty important as well anyway you can just choose app and it will load up your uh, entire apps list and then you can just choose any app you like so I'm just gonna choose the normal Android calendar and you are, when you are done you just press the back button on your phone and you're basically done with editing uh, the widget and then you can go into UCCW choose hotspot mode turn it on and now when you press on the widget you are taken into the app so that's also a pretty important thing I know everybody uses different apps so for example um, let's see you know everybody uses uh, a different gallery app you have so many gallery apps on the store so it's good that you can edit the widgets and choose your own uh, gallery app so that's also for internet it's set to Google Chrome by default if you want to use your stock Android browser or any other browser you want you can choose that also for the music player people use all kinds of music players all kinds of weather apps 
and of course the same applies to the to do app and the mo movies apps so uh, that's the idea you can just choose your own apps for every widget and that also applies to the dock so let's turn off hotspots mode and press on the dock you're gonna see this screen again you have five hotspots here you can just scroll down you can choose your own apps so as you can see I have Google Chrome my camera SMS and the phone for the home button you need to choose a shortcut go to Nova Launcher and on my S2 it doesn't work I don't know why that was the same for my other teams so basically you are going to see the shortcut and it's set by default anyway so uh, you don't actually need to edit that but you can change all these icons to your own liking so that's pretty cool if you press on the top widget you can also edit the, t the time format so if you're in the US you use a different time format you can do that as well so that basically uh, covers everything I'm sorry I forgot these things in the other video but they are kind of important so that's why I made this other video thank you and I hope uh, you get it working